So the last video I told you, the next video, you'll see us putting fenders on this car. I really hope so. <laughs> because, I mean, all right, guys, I'll explain. <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? I know, I know. Okay. One thing I completely forgot about was a sway bar. This has a four-cylinder sway bar on it. I got a V8 sway bar from Black Sunshine. Um, that one's got a Steeda on it. And the mounts that I got for that car, <laughs> they're great mounts. My buddy's seen that, Justin, and he goes, dude, I could make those. So I gave it to him. He made a few sets, gave them to a couple friends of ours gave me a set and that's what's gonna go on this car beautiful um, I got the uh, I bought a while ago the bushings for that size and the other thing kind of something we discovered after I turned the camera off because of something we were kind of doing that's really something you don't need to show on camera because it's stupid but but when we start to and when we put those on there, we kind of noticed something. They, we got to fix it before we put the fenders on. So we were putting these little plastic sleeves that go on these uh, strikers. And, and guys, people buy these and buy new strikers because they think they're worn out. No, it's the plastic sleeves. Just go to a parts store. You can buy a package of them for like five bucks. Just slip them on there. Take these out, slip them on. But when we put these on, we noticed this. Check this out. <laughs> see that and it's I don't know if you can see you probably can't it's the bottom pin on both sides and uh, the top ones are fine these ones are hogged out a little bit so I ordered a set of oversized pins and they're supposed to be here today so hopefully they get here and we can get them on but first thing we gotta jack this up get that sway bar off put the other one on it shouldn't be too bad and uh, I just gotta find the bushings in the mounts. <laughs> it's always a struggle. Look at the pollen that is flying around, guys. Yes. <laughs> All right, we found them, yeah. Those are the ones Justin made. He copied them right from the other brand name. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know what the other brand name is. But there they are. We'll get them installed. Here's the bushings, pretty simple. Um, see, I think it's a uh, NPD I got these from because they got all different sizes in there and these are split guys. They may not look like it, but they're split right there, so. But these just, look at this. Look how beautiful that slid right in there. So, and these are for that size bar. That's right down there. So, let's go ahead and uh, jack up the car. It's jacker. Let's jack up the whore. <laughs> jack her up and start going to town on this. Going to town. <laughs> also, yes, we brought it down from the attic. It's supposed to be sunny today, and uh, it's trying. <laughs> it really is. I think tomorrow is supposed to be sunny too, so you might have to wait till then. Of course, if you guys didn't know, putting carpeting in your car, you put it out in the sun to kind of let it, you know, relax. Oh, oh, also, I did have to purchase. Here's our little tool room. <laughs> it goes up to the attic here. Uh, I did get these two a long time ago because the other ones were broken and black. <laughs> this is just easier. I mean, I stripped all the interior paint off, but there's no way I was doing this <laughs> when I could buy these things for what were they? 30 bucks or whatever.
a little bit of a look at those uh, bushings on that four cylinder. <laughs> Destroyed. And uh, the in-links guys that were attached to this car when we got it were trashed. So I had gotten some new ones and put, these are all brand new, all bushings and everything. Even though I knew those were shot, I, I said, you know, let's just put these on here for now. We'll get back to this later. And well, it's later. <laughs> so. All right, there's the bolts. Uh, they're very painted. <laughs> They've been on this car for what is this? 89, 35 years. 35 years. <laughs> Let's see if these things will come off with uh, relative ease. All right, the problem is, man, these things kind of bow out a little bit here where I gotta get in there. So I got a little shorty wobbler here. And of course, I have it on a uh, certified impact <laughs> socket. Um, I don't have any regular SAE impact sockets. I got all metric, but let's see what happens. Oh, I see. The plastic broke off, and I got a nut there. Um, hmm. Okay, so I got that bolt off, that one. And then after I did that, I thought to myself, why was I surprised there was a nut on the other side? <laughs> Why wouldn't there be? Well, I didn't see it underneath the plastic. Why is that plastic there? That makes no sense. I have no idea. I don't understand. Why is there plastic on there? <laughs> I'm going to get this other one off and the other two. They're coming right out, so that's pretty surprising. But... <laughs> And they look actually pretty not bad for being that old. Shit. A little bit of a snaggle here. There we go. Look at that little guy. Come on here, little buddy. Well, there you go. There's the comparison, like my feet. But obviously a lot smaller than this. And of course the Steeda I got on my other car is a lot beefier than that one, but all right, that was easy. So our bolt supply failed us. <laughs> I had to go to Lowe's. <laughs> I had some big ones, they're a little too big, and then I had other ones that weren't grade 8, and I'd rather have grade 8 on here holding this sway bar because it's got a lot of pressure. Full disclosure, I may have only walked out with two bolts and had to go back in. <laughs> <laughs> Just wasn't thinking at the time. So, I was about to put this in the car and realized there was a big pure metal spot there, and a couple more. <laughs> Some duplicolor engine enamel on there, a couple of coats, and we'll be ready. About the only thing good with these is the mirrors. <laughs> Look at this, man. I don't know if you can see that. It's just just what these hillbillies they painted this stuff. I think they just I think they consolidated a can just for this size. <laughs> That's pretty shitty, dude. That is so bad. I got these. I think yeah, MJI gave me these a while back, a couple years ago actually, but yeah, goodbye. <laughs> We're about to attempt to put these up there, but we need to be in two places at once. These got to go up in there, and then we got to put the nuts, which are up here on the other side. Yeah, one. 
There it is now. We just got to get the end links started and then we'll tighten everything up on here. So look at that. They look way better than that stock piece of crap. <laughs> So one V8 sway bar swap done with the new mounts. New bushings of course. But cool. Alright, so we mangled the bottom one out. It was a stock one, so they had like things on both sides. Mangled them out with the old carbide bit. Shoved it down, which bent it. <laughs> then we took the hinge off because we gotta drill it. So that's exactly the way they showed you how to do it, but that's the way we're doing it. So yeah. There you go. Car with no doors. Yeah. So if you're gonna replace these guys at the top, I imagine that one's not gonna be a problem. What's gonna be a problem is this bottom one. Because you have no straight access to this at all. And I, we've broken a few of these bushings. Luckily we got extras here. Just trying to get that out. And when you pound them in, we're gnawing up the sides here, so now we got to clean these out in order to fit the pin in there. Because the pin won't, it won't go in. Of course, that's the wrong angle, but we tried doing it on the other side and popped that out. So we had to, finally just took the door off to pop it in. It's not easy to do. So I mean, you should, that freaking work. Yeah. Freaking. That was a long time. <laughs> so at least this paint's there, so we know where to line the door up with. But Jesus. So peeps, the door's on, and you know we just got—I just got it tightened, opened it, closed it, perfect. Then I came over here and started to snug these up. And I snapped that one off. <laughs> I did not realize that we were on number three. <laughs> I thought it was on one. So it looks like my dad fished that out. <laughs> but I, I gotta get a bolt for it. So we learned from our mistake on the other door. Just take it off to begin with and what took us three and a half hours over there will probably take us an hour over here from what i see up here and that like i said the top these ones look like they'd be a lot easier because we don't need to do anything with these these are fine but down here these are the hardest because of the slope of the door here so you can't go up with the pin you got to go down here in order to go down here with the pin you got to pull that out of there because you can't you can't get it in straight and you got this little hub here to deal with too so just take the door off it's fine because there's paint and we know where to put it but as soon as we put the hinges and tighten them where they're supposed to go we shut the door it shuts straight so we got the other pin in <laughs> so that i'd say 45 minutes an hour putting the door back on <laughs> from start to finish as opposed to a three and a half hour ordeal that was over there so live and learn we were worried about i was worried about the adjustment on the door but we just put it back where the paint was and it closes just fine he's greasing the window stuff <laughs> and on upon further review this whole uh thing i was able to yank the vacuum switch out of it if you didn't know they do have a vacuum switch that it goes up against the p 
a you know, gas pedal. And then I looked and I followed this harness and it's hooked into another module up on the kick panel here. And there was something else plugged into it. And as I was following it, it was going somewhere else throughout the car. I didn't want to disturb the mojo. <laughs> this isn't working. I'm just going to tape it off. And I don't, I don't know what that module is for, what that other plug is, and if it's significant for anything. Probably nothing, but I just don't want to screw anything up right now. <laughs> so. I like the clean look. <laughs> There it is. All right, weight reduction. Kind of balances, you know, since I put about 50 pounds of sound deadener in it. <laughs> Probably gonna put more in the door. So, this 308, notice something? See this? Looks a little high. <laughs> We're gonna run into a problem. <laughs> I said from the beginning, if it all pokes through, we're cutting a hole. <laughs> we're gonna fashion probably the most janky looking hood scoop. <laughs> we're just gonna probably have my dad just tack it right to the top. <laughs> it look mean, baby. Anyway, back to work. So now, we're going to have to move some fuel lines, which stinks. It stinks, man. Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't know what I'm going to do. On another front, we were turning the wheel, and it had some resistance in a couple of spots. We were wondering, and then we looked, and we found... <laughs> gotta stop looking for stuff man we keep finding shit I'll point it down there maybe with the power of technology I can zoom in on the steering shaft and you see those two little studs yeah they're sticking out just enough to hit the header <laughs> it was two spots that we felt resistance one right after the other there it is. And then we saw. That's that's what it is. So I don't think that's gonna keep us from putting fenders on, right? Oh, by the way, the carpeting is out in the sun. <laughs> Nothing's going on. Alright, we're gonna get the carpeting in. I've learned. <laughs> we gotta cut those holes out right there and cutting through this mesh material is a friggin nightmare dude so i learned something i'm not sure where i learned it but i've seen it somewhere in a video where they heated up a screwdriver and stuck it through the hole and hopefully we don't catch anything on fire Cool. Toxic. It's toxic. That works so much better. It's nice to see red carpet in this thing after that terrible spray painted black stuff. And then soon enough we'll have all the red plastics back in here and not black. <laughs> so, got all these burnt through for the seat belts. All those are over there are done. Even he went back and burnt these open a little bit. So, this is all done. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> but, 
Look. See, I said you'd see fenders on. At least one anyway. This one is put on because it wasn't a big deal. There's nothing else I need to do in there. So, and now for this whole thing over here. So, the problem with taking this and bringing it up through here is we'd have to reroute these lines over the subframe and that's not what I'm gonna do. So there's a hole right there. See that? We're gonna cut that open a little ways and we're gonna move these. You should have more than enough uh, hose there. Move these up through there. Make sure there's nothing gonna scrape on them or vibrate on them. Then run them up here and through there and around. See if we can't maybe shorten this up and bring it right to here probably be a lot better we got more than enough hose there to do what we got to do and I think especially on this one here so and one last thing I wanted to give you a view of China <laughs> strikes again guys look at the look at this vinyl pad in here look at that look how that thing is riding up on the freaking it's where it's supposed to be because we we made sure we were look at this is where the crease is that's where it goes this is where this crease goes and we made sure it was evenly over there i don't think we're gonna have to cut much we have to cut a little bit of carpet off the edge here but not much but yeah look at that guys that's just terrible <laughs> it's supposed to be like another like inch and a half over maybe two inches probably and it should be over but it's going to be covered up by a floor mat anyway so but still that's just garbage i did say fenders but we got a fender on <laughs> unforeseen circumstances. I mean, I, you know, that was something I noticed a while ago, but it, it was kind of in the back of my mind. I wasn't even thinking about it because I had so much other stuff to worry about, but we'll come back and revisit it and we'll take care of it. Probably make this whole fuel thing a little bit better with taking out that bunch of uh, kind of unneeded hose. I think I did it that way because I wasn't sure about a fitting right there that's kind of a tricky spot for a fitting to get that to come around that corner there but anyway we got the fender on there you go one more look at it it's on we just got to put the brace in here and i'll tell you what guys there's a hell there's a gaping amount of room in there for that horn look at that i, I mean i was a little worried but i don't know why <laughs> there's, there's a lot of room in there but um all right so there you go guys we got the sway bar on we got the door pins done and now we're good at it <laughs> um got the carpeting in and a fender on so um we're getting closer 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 but uh i think when we get this fuel thing we can put us we can put a fender on there and then we can start putting the front end on it i need lights <laughs> those ones on there they're screws holding them in anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time guys later